Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation 2, LaunchBox, RetroArch, and the Mr. FPGA. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation 2 emulation with Aether SX2, but not on Android. We are talking about Aether SX2 on Xbox. Now, I thought I mentioned this in a previous video, and I took a look back, and it turns out I didn't. I don't know how I didn't mention this one. But Aether SX2 is up and running on the Xbox Series 1 and Series X and S. So if you've got an Xbox One or a Series X or S and you have access to developer mode, head on over to AetherSX2.com, click on download, scroll down to where you see UWP and click on that. And then from here, you can pick up the version of Aether SX2 specifically for the Xbox. UWP stands for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano, or it stands for Universal Windows Platform. I guess it depends on how you want to define it. If you have an Xbox One or an Xbox One X, you will want to pick up the Aether SX2 UWP SSE 4 version. And if you've got an Xbox Series S or X, you can pick up the AVX2 version. Now, it's worth pointing out that Talworth, the developer of Aether SX2, says this is a pre-alpha preview. There's still plenty of work to be done. There might be some bugs, might be some glitches, and Aether SX2 might not work the way you want it to. On top of that, performance on the Xbox One or Xbox One X will be significantly worse than on the Series S or X, which makes a lot of sense. And very fortunately here, Towerth included very detailed installation steps, so it shows you exactly how to install this on your Xbox. And speaking about boxes, next up here we're talking about LaunchBox and emulation front end. LaunchBox just got a brand new update to version 12.12 on PC. If you don't know what LaunchBox is at a really high level here, it basically sits in front of your emulators and makes your ROM collection look beautiful. You open up LaunchBox, you can select your game and your emulator, and you're off to the races. LaunchBox version 12.12 .12 introduces bezels and image packs. The bezels are from the Bezel Project. They are free and they work with MAME and RetroArch and they work on a per game basis. And for the image packs, LaunchBox has introduced the image pack importer tool. If you're a fan of visual consistency, you might really like this update. You can download image packs directly from the LaunchBox community. Now for those curious, I can confirm these features are available on both the free and paid versions of LaunchBox. If you go to tools here, you can find it under image packs. Next up, we're talking about RetroArch on Steam. RetroArch has just added in two new cores, Wasm 4 for WebAssembly games, and Blue MSX for MSX computers, SVI, ColecoVision, and the Sega SG-1000. The easiest way to get access to all cores for RetroArch Arch is just to install the standalone version, but if you go with the Steam version here, they're cranking up how many cores are available. And last up here, this is a quick one. We're talking about the Mr. FPGA. If you're a fan of PSX emulation on the Mr., well, you're going to like this update. The PSX Core Multi Tab for digital pad emulation has been added. Analog joystick input option has been added, direct video stability, they've fixed the mem card timing, fixed bus rotation, fixed CPU internal timings fixed crashes and OSD fixes. This one is a pretty big update. And on top of all of that, we've got ZX Spectrum, Sega Master System, and Super Nintendo Core updates. So if you do have a mister, you'll wanna make sure your cores are up to date. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, don't tempt fate, save your state.